Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a first impression slash review slash swatch on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Now I swear, and I know you've probably seen this palette a million times at this point, but I just got it literally yesterday and I swear I have been on a list, an email me back list from Sephora for like seven months. So now that I have it, is this happening so I thought today I was gonna do some swatches I'll probably start with swatches first because I'm not really sure what colors I wanted to use because I kind of wanted to dive into it all um, but I also wanted to just get a feel for the product and see if it's really that amazing as everybody says like I have friends who've told me that this palette has replaced all their palettes I don't know so if it has for you give it a thumbs up and comment down below let me know how it goes and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get to it so first off the color super pretty i'm gonna open it because i haven't opened it yet i've been waiting for this moment oh it's pretty it's like velour would you say it velour i like it so this is the palette this is what it looks like um i'm super excited i kind of really like the pinky tones and the orange that could be fun um yeah I guess we'll just go for it we'll just go and see what happens um it also comes with a brush uh, so that's cute I probably won't use it not gonna lie but maybe I don't know we'll see okay so let's get started first I'm gonna start with I don't know mm, I think first I'm gonna start with this warm taupe color and see how it goes on see how it applies well okay and i refuse to take out the little tag in here because it's i like it it's so cute so i'm gonna try and use it in the way but oh it's definitely warm So I wanted to just add some tape to keep the colors in tow, but um, I'm just gonna go back in with this warm brown, warm taupe color. And just put that. So, it's very pigmented, like it's very pigmented, which is really, really nice. And the warm taupe really shows up, which I really like. Um, I feel like a little definitely goes a long way. And it feels really nicely, like it blends so far really nicely. But we'll see when we start to get into those orange and pinks, how, how well it does blend. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Real Gar. Real Gar. What does that mean? I don't know. But we'll try it. Oh, that's for real, though. So, can we talk about this for a second? Because I've seen a million reviews. I've seen a million reviews, and they've all said the same thing Wow pigmentation. Wow pigmentation. Okay, we're gonna have to blend. We're gonna have to use less, blend more. <laughs> That's gonna be the key to this. This fancy look here. But really the goal for me is to keep the darkest parts at the end, which is why, thank the heavens, now we put the tape on. And to really keep that color. Bam. Just gonna take a flat, a little flat, denser brush and use the Venetian red. And I have already taken too much at this point. I can see it. This is gonna be the brightest eye you've ever seen.
Next, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Tardiest Clay Paint Liner. Um, and I've never used this before, so I'm hoping it's awesome. Next, I'm going to pop on some lashes. Okay, now that the lashes are on, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put on some concealer and then I'm going to finish the eyes, I think, and I'm probably just going to stick to the same colors I used on top and see how that goes. I'm kind of digging it though, right? Kind of fun. Now here's the thing, your under eye always, like my under eye always looks so much lighter when my eyes are so dark because I have such dark features and then throw on some dark matte colors and my concealer is the lightest you've ever seen. Not the bad though. To set my concealer I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. And it has a really nice sheer sheen color, so I kind of just want to lightly set that. I'm going to be using MAC Smolder, and I don't know if you noticed in my other videos, but my dog has chewed this. So that's fun, but I refuse to buy another one because it doesn't really make sense. So for now I'm going to use it, but Max Smolder is one of my favorite black eye pencils. And so I'm going to just darken up the inside of my waterline here. And then I'm just going to start off with going back into Real Gur. Real Gur? Oh, I'm so confused. Like, what does that mean? Can we look back real quick? Because it's starting to bother me. Hold on. Real Gur. Is that a name? Like, am I missing something? Sounds like a Harry Potter reference. Real Gur. Real Gur is an arsenic sulfide mineral, also known as ruby sulfur. Who knew? Now we know. And then I'm just going to take a smaller brush and go back into Venetian Red and pop that. Okay, so there is some fallout. I mean, these colors are super, super pigmented. I'm going to go in with the color Vermeer and just highlight the inner corners. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Bronzer in the color Ambient. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop.
for lips. I'm going to be using the Dose of Color, and this is in the color Bear With Me, one of my favorite, favorite colors from Dose of Color. But sort of pinky, sort of nude, but I wanted to keep it less aggressive than the rest of this, so. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. These are colors I typically wouldn't wear, um, and I thought it would be super fun to try this look. And I mean, who wouldn't want orangey pink eyes on a daily basis? But super fun, super springy, and totally, I can like, I'm looking at myself in the monitor and I'm like, whoa, my eyes look so, so dark. Um, and I kind of digging it. I really like these colors. I really like these a lot. And overall, I would say so far in the colors that I've used, the palette is awesome. I mean, all the raves, I guess, are true then. Um, it, it works really, really well. Really, really well. I'm super happy with this look. I'm super happy how it turned out. So thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.